Hello my Aries friends. This is your mid-month reading for love. Check in with you guys and see what's going on here. What's going on with my Aries? What's going on with Aries? Please show me messages for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs in love. What's going on around my Aries? For mid-month through the end of the month here. The Eight of Cups is there. Hmm. This is all about not um, walking away from things that do not make you feel good. Okay? It could be a Pisces energy that you guys have separated yourself from and have decided that this situation, you know, is not good for you anymore. Okay? Let's see what's crossing you. Then we have the Knight of Wands there. You know, with this, I'm getting that what's, what's going on for you guys right now is the fact that you have come to know that, you know, you can, even if situations are not the way that you want them to be, um, you are not staying stuck in that energy, okay? You are able to quickly leave behind people and situations that are displeasing to you okay and recover you guys have a resiliency here okay definitely and then we have the six of swords and the ten of swords again you have a resiliency here okay if you can see that Ten of Swords is right here. Six of Swords here. This is you guys. When things are not serving you, it's knowing when to leave it alone. Not rocking the boat. Not trying to make things work that are just not working here. Okay? Giving up on situations that, you know, cause you grief, cause you pain, cause you strife. And um, moving on, and, and I feel like moving on quite enthusiastically, okay, period. There also could be a Gemini Aquarius individual that is of concern here. Uh, maybe even Sagittarius energy is here, okay. Let's see what were the past issues with you guys that wanted to flip. The Three of Wands. Hmm. The issue here in the recent past has been that you have been waiting for that person, that one. And there's somebody I feel like in particular you guys were waiting on, okay? You felt like this was your soulmate. You felt like this person, you, you and this person could have grown old together. You had a lot of hopes for this this situation with this individual okay and you really wanted to believe that this person would return at one point in time very loyal to this person and the connection that you guys share okay so I'm definitely feeling that there's somebody here that walked away from you guys walked away from you, you were very hurt, um, very disappointed. But I feel like right now, what you have on your side is the fact that you are able to move on and not harp on things here, okay? Let's see what's going on in the recent past. Okay, let's see. Let's try it again. Hmm, yeah. The lovers. Somebody made a choice here. Somebody made a choice here. There's somebody that you definitely um, feel like was a soulmate to you. I'm feeling like this person chose to walk away. Strong Gemini energy I feel is present here. Uh, this person chose to go out and explore things on their own. But you know, I'm getting that there's a situation that has dried up for this individual. Okay? And I'm also getting 
for some of you, for a lot of you, okay? Whatever you did in this situation with this person, however you cared for them, however faithful you were to them, do not beat yourself up over how you gave to this individual, okay? Because that's who you are. The thing is, you gave to the wrong person was all that it was. That person was not appreciative of what you, who you are, and what you gave to that connection, okay? But do not beat yourself over up over that. Let's see your crowning thoughts here. The Aries crowning thoughts in this situation. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, um, definitely working hard to overcome, overcome the situation. Um, I feel like there, there's something that you guys are striving towards here. There's something that you're striving towards here with this Knight of Wands energy. And I feel like it's all about the coin currently. I feel like you guys have been in a cycle with an individual, but now you're not focused on um, on love per se. You're more focused on trying to build something for yourself. But I have the Ten of Cups under the bottom of the deck. But I, I'm getting that you know, in with this Eight of Pentacles energy. There's someone here that feels like they want to work on things with you. And they feel like they will be lucky to have another chance to do this. To have this Ten of Cups with you. But I'm getting right now, all you're trying to do is have the Ten of Cups by yourself. <laughs> you know? Just be, you know, totally happy. Happy home. Happy life. You know, happy career. By yourself. Okay, let's see what's coming in for Aries. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, though. Okay. Now, in the upright, you know, th this is all about giving in to change because there's nothing that is permanent in this life or, or written in stone but the fact that things are going to change. Okay, just like the seasons. But in reverse, I'm feeling like, and this is also Jupiter, Jupiter, my gosh, Jupiter energy here, um, Sagittarius Pisces energy, I feel. Now, and the husband, and karma. So, and it's also like a cycle, cycles of the year. I'm feeling like that same person that you were in a cycle with is coming back in because, again, I don't feel like this person has had very many good times since walking away from you. Again, I'm seeing that there's something that they had their sight set on that has dried up for them. I don't know if their money is low. I don't know if they have just, you know, it kind of, they're going through something emotionally um, or what. But I feel like this person is wanting to come back around to you guys because, you know, they haven't had very much success since walking away from you. Hmm. Let's see, how is Aries feeling about this situation? How is Aries feeling about this situation? The Seven of Swords. Hmm. You know, this situation here with this person walking away, um, you know, and it left you distraught. You know, you were very hurt. But the fact that you are able to bounce back um, so easily you feel like that is a benefit you know that that is one of your your stronger assets one of your stronger points and 
you know that walking away, being able to leave behind that energy of, you know, being very hurt and this person walking away and doing whatever they left to do, this, that, that was best for you. Okay, whatever they did here, if they left to be with somebody else, I hear a lot of you guys saying, um, you feel sorry for the other person, or, you know, there's a reason why this person walked away from you. Um, so what, they're with someone else, because now you don't have to deal with it, is what I'm hearing some of you say. Like you feel sorry for the other person that this person um, possibly walked away to be with. Walked away from you to go be with. So now you're feeling like, yeah, that, that's it's okay. Because, you know, good for me. Because you were very deceitful. You lied to me. You stole from me. You cheated on me. You treated me badly. Um, whatever. Just go on. Scurry on. And, um... You know, not trying to be funny or nothing, but like, you don't want it to happen to anybody. But right now, it's like, I'm glad it's not me anymore. Okay. Taking care of yourself, working on yourself. Let's see what the influence is for you guys here. Six of Cups. Hmm. You have somebody that's daydreaming, that's that's reminiscing about the good times that you guys shared and how they want to have that back. This person, whoever walked away from you guys, excuse me, this person's not happy. This person's not happy at all. They're longing. They're longing to reunite with you guys. Hmm. Scorpio energy. We have Aquarius energy here. Let's see what your hopes are. Your Aries hopes. That's a lot. What are we going to see? We have the Queen of Swords. Hmm. And the King of Wands. Your hopes. I feel that you will know what somebody's intentions are. Um, could definitely be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy for sure. Um, but you're hoping to see this person coming. You're hoping to to see, um, and not coming like you want them to come back, but like to to be able to know what their motives are or what they're bringing to you, what their angle is, you know. And a lot of you, I feel like you feel this person's watching you. You feel this person is. I think this energy where this individual is is um you know they're not they're not having a good time right now okay i think you know this i think you feel this i think the energy is such that um you guys know that you did all that you could do in this relationship in that connection with this person and you have no worries right now as far as you know, if they're doing better or, or if they got someone else, because I see clearly you're like, whatever, better them than me. And that's not to say that you want anything, you know, bad or negative to happen to anyone else, but you're just glad that you got out of it. You stopped the manipulation that you were going through and received from this person. What is the overall outcome for Aries? Overall outcome for Aries. Five of Wands. Hmm. I definitely feel like there's going to be a struggle here. There's going to be a struggle here. I feel like both of you guys are um, 
a very strong will could definitely be a fire energy somebody with fire in their chart i feel strong gemini aquarius leo energy here um sagittarius and pisces as well but um i'm feeling this person's coming back they're struggling though they're struggling though because they know when they come back you know they're gonna have something to contend with especially with the seven of swords energy here showing up they're going to have something to contend with. But I definitely see them coming back. Whoever this was that walked away, that either chose someone else or just chose to go out and, you know, just do their own thing in general, whether it's dating or just be single and, and working or what have you, this person's coming back. This person's coming back, and I really would not be shocked if it is anywhere from the next five days to the next five weeks. Okay, so that is what I have for my dear Aries, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.